Have you ever wanted to just know what to do? Like the rules of the game, so you felt you had a chance of winning in this game of life? Carol Davis can be your virtual navigator as she has traveled around the world and been at the lowest of lows. From living in a beautiful home to being a full-time resident on a park bench to a life that is full and rich and giving and peaceful. Join Carol, a published author, teacher, and in-demand public speaker. Welcome to The Carol Davis Show. Hello, this is Carol Davis Show. Welcome. I am Carol Davis, of course, and it is my show. And we've been talking about anger, all different kinds of anger and what to do about it and what not to do about it. And today, I'm going to answer a few viewers' questions that have been emailed to me. And you have the option of doing that, too. Just look at the bottom of your screen and you'll see that option of emailing questions or comments. And the question I'm going to address today, this uh, viewer wrote in, is what is anger? And that's a really good question because, you know, we've been talking about that for um, weeks now, and I don't think I've actually addressed what is anger. And some of you may say, uh, that's a stupid question. Hello, I think I know what anger is. Um, and that's true to a point. But there's a lot of anger going on within some people that nobody knows about. Um, some t because some people know how to keep it contained within themselves in public. And maybe they go home and they kick the dog. And you know, maybe, you know the guy that's just like, Mr. Sunshine at work. You ever have a boss? He's just absolutely wonderful. The perfect boss. Everybody should have this boss. He's kind, considerate, thoughtful. He doesn't go off the handle. He listens to all sides of an issue and he leaves. He goes home and kicks the dog, screams at the kids, throws the cat against the wall. And this sounds like a cartoon. It sounds like I'm exaggerating. And I'm going to tell you that sort of thing happens in, in millions of homes around the world. That happens. And so that's the kind of anger nobody sees. And I, I call that the secret anger. It's kind of the anger I had for a while. It didn't last too long. And then, of course, there's the other kind of anger that um, people do see, but they're not sure it's angry. They just think you're nuts. Like, what is wrong with him? You know, it's like he always seemed kind of irritated or a grump. Who's the grumpy guy? There's always something wrong, but um, they just think it's a personality defect. But that could be a type of anger. So part of the question that was asked of me, the, the viewer asked, is also, what are some stages of anger? And I'm not sure I know there's stages. I can tell you my own, my own experience with anger, I suppose, could be seen as stages. And, and I'll describe that to you. I was a perfect child, very, very small. I was angry, but I could not have identified it myself as angry. I was angry and I was afraid. And I felt insecure, stupid, ugly. A lot of things that a lot of people feel. I felt mostly confused at a very small age. But I was called the OK Kid because I sort of just went around and did whatever, whatever people, adults told me to do. I said, OK, a very um, kind of strict military type family. And actually, OK was uh, the only thing I could say besides yes, sir, and yes, ma'am, really. <laughs> no kind of wasn't allowed in my house. So there were things happening in my house which I didn't understand, which was kind of the beginning of this the building of an angry person, which I became later on. So I didn't get angry in those early years, but I became an angry person. And how that happened is um, I kept trying to get answers to my questions, whatever they were. And um, I, I couldn't get answers. And I would tell people what I was feeling, and grown-ups would say, like parents, you, know, you shouldn't feel that way. You shouldn't, feel, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. So kind of more than a feeling of anger, as, as adults, we know when we get angry, we know what that is. And, and we kind of know about anger. But a little kid, I just, there was an emptiness inside of me. It was just the beginnings of a, of a little hole inside of me. It was kind of like an icy wind blowing through it. But as a small child, I could not identify that. As I grew up, it started getting, getting uh, bigger. Now, at age 13... Up to that time, I had been still the perfect, obedient child. Everyone saw me as outside world. I had almost straight A's. 
I was very bright, tested at the college level in sixth grade, I think it was. Um, I was cute, I was funny, I was popular. I had uh, played the piano, I danced lessons. I had what looked like uh, of the perfect life for any girl. Uh, some people, in fact, called me spoiled. But I was just uh, an obedient child. The daughter that anybody would want to have until age 13 when I just, out of the clear blue, got arrested for grand theft auto and possession of deadly weapons. That is a type of anger. That was something inside of me, some kind of, that's something that was starting to grow and nobody knew what it was. I didn't know I was angry. And then I went to jail and went to court, of course, and nobody could figure out what was wrong with me. The judge, he looked at the profile of me and he's like, and he looked at me, I had a little ponytail and no makeup and uh, I, he could not figure out how, why I stole a car or why I had deadly weapons, guns. Uh, I didn't know either. I, the only answer I could give him was I just felt like driving. So I got in somebody's car and had the keys and I drove off. And even sitting in front of him, whatever he asked me, I was still the same sweet, obedient child. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, sir. I'm so sorry, sir. He couldn't put me in jail. He, he let me go. He could not believe it. So that didn't look like anger. That's what I'm getting at here. People say, what is anger and what are the stages? How do we recognize it? There's an example of no one even knowing that I was an, I was, uh, an angry person waiting to blossom. It was like the anger was like when you plant a seed. The seed of anger had been planted. It was still under the ground. It hadn't yet broken through the, the ground, into it erupted into a, an angry person that people could identify as anger. So after that, I was on probation for stealing cars. And I had stolen two, actually. And um, they, so my life went on, and, but I started acting out a little. I started in my parents' house, smashing things, which was kind of dangerous because my father liked to beat me a lot with the pelt. So I got, uh, there was retaliation for that, but I, I would stomp my feet, I would get angry, I just, nothing, nothing that anybody could say or do made me happy. I just got mad a lot. But I guess that could be another stage because honestly, if you sat me down and said, what's wrong, Carol? Why are you so angry? I had no idea. Are you ready to get off the bench and into the game of life? If so, join Carol Weekly right here at The Carol Davis Show.